hoping and praying that someone comes to save her. However, it's just, you know, the classic B-movie dialogue, you'll never get away with it, and that Dave will come and save her from this horrible fate. Sandy tells Dr. Ed off, and now the best part, he looks at the camera and says, that's what she thinks. That's probably the funniest part of that little cutscene. He runs off, and Sandy is just banging, I guess, against that steel door there, which is not easily opened. Now with control of Dave again, we're going to go ahead and use the record on the record player. And now we're going to turn on the cassette recorder, make sure it's recording, and then turn on the record player for the worst sound you'll ever hear in your life. Isn't that enjoyable? However, after that little thing breaks on top of the piano, you can then turn off the recorder, turn off the record player, then we're going to go ahead and get our tape back, and move along and go back downstairs. Just so you know, that record was called Tentacle Mating Calls. That was the sound you just heard, was the mating calls of tentacles. Now we're going to go ahead into this door where we left Bernard, opened up this cabinet door here, use the cassette tape that we now have the recorded sound on, put it in the cassette player, and go ahead and turn it on. More of that great sounding, horrible tentacle mating sound. Now its only purpose here is we're going to see the window break, and then the chandelier break, in which case it reveals a key. We can turn off the cassette player, we no longer need that cassette tape thankfully, and go ahead and grab the key. Now we're going to move Dave out of that room, and head him towards this door right here. I'm going to switch back to Bernard, who's waiting along in that room. I'm going to go ahead with Bernard and grab the radio tube from this old radio here, which we're going to need later on. And then we're going to go ahead and push this gargoyle statue on the railing here. It opens up that door, which we can switch back to Dave. Go ahead and enter. It's another one of those dark rooms, so we got to turn on the light. We can see a bunch of the uh, furnace and radiator stuff and some weird chemicals. However, we're going to grab the silver key here, and then we're going to head back out of this room. We'll have to come back in here later because this is actually what leads to the final area. Now that we have that key, we're going to go ahead and give the silver key to Bernard. And now we're going to move Dave outside back to the front of the house. Open up the front door, which Weird Ed had closed when he thought the doorbell had rung for his package. And then we're going to go ahead and pull up this bush here. And then go ahead and open up the grating. And we're going to go ahead now and switch back to Bernard. Our new goal here is to go outside and drain the pool area in order to find another one of the keys we need. As we see another one of these scripted cutscenes here, as we see Weird Ed confronting his mother, Nurse Edna, about the weirdness that's been going on in the house and the fact that the father has been acting very strangely over the last bit of time. Weird Ed leaves all distraught, seeing that he can't get through to his mother, who's also being controlled, we assume, by the meteor. And now we go back to our characters, back to Bernard. Go ahead and move him back into this room right here. Now after that cutscene, the package for Weird Ed will arrive any moment, so you want to make sure that no one's in that hallway. As you can see, where, where it is, the doorbell rings, and we have the package has now arrived, so Weird Ed runs out to get it. Now we're going to use Razor here to quickly grab the package so that Weird Ed can't get a hold of it. Now the package can be used for multiple things. There's stamps on the package, as well as you can give the Weird Ed the work towards a different ending. However, we're not going to be doing either one of those in this run. Switch back to Dave now and move him towards this water valve here. There it is right there. By uh, using it, the water in the pool will drain. However, once the water in the pool is drained, a meltdown will occur if the water isn't put back in. So you have to be very careful when you drain the pool that you're ready to go get that key. Once again, Weird Ed is kind of ticked off that someone's messing with him again, or what he thinks someone was messing with him again. However, his package really did arrive this time. We're going to go ahead and switch back to Bernard. And we're going to head him into the kitchen, first opening up the front door again. 
just because Weird Egg closed it for a uh, second time. And now head to the kitchen and go all the way over to that room where we got the fruit drink. With that key that we garnered and we gave Bernard the silver key, we can open up that door that was in that room and head outside to the pool area. We're going to go ahead and use our silver key on this yellow door and head outside. Once here, we're going to position Bernard over the ladder. He, of course, won't go in while the water's there. And now switch back to Dave, and what you're going to do is open up the water valve. Once doing so, we're going to hear a siren go off, and we're going to see that the meltdown is now in process. We have a scene with Dr. Ed and the Purple Tentacle for the first time, talking about the meltdown that's about to occur. Dr. Ed is quite furious about this meltdown and the fact that he has pretty crappy equipment to work with right before he's getting ready to take over the world, and he exclaims that the meteor is not going to be happy with this one. He is then going to call forth the purple tentacle to go figure out what the problem is. After the scene, after the tentacle has been told what he needs to do, we're going to go back now to the pool area, which has now been drained. We can go in it with Bernard, and we're going to go ahead and grab the glowing key. Do not, under any circumstance, push the button. Even though it has an arrow, it wants you to press the button, but by pressing it, the house will explode and it will be an instant game over. Now we're going to switch back to Dave real fast and go ahead and close that valve. However, we're going to have a cutscene first of seeing the tentacle, trying to figure out why the meltdown is occurring, seeing that no one is in this room, however the light's on, and he's going to go ahead and turn the light out. I guess that was his way of solving the meltdown problem. However, we go ahead and close the water valve, and now we can move Dave out of this area. We now have all of our items that we're going to need in order to complete this ending of the game. We're going to go ahead and take Dave and move him up here and move back to Bernard. Now that he's back by the pool area, we're going to go ahead and start moving towards his uh, ending goal. We have to move him through the dining room and back through the kitchen, and then we're going to head back upstairs. Before we can fully go upstairs though, we're going to have to switch over some items uh, between our two characters, mainly Bernard given that new glowing key that he just got. Uh, to Dave so that Dave can go ahead and enter the lab area later on. So we're going to move Dave back into the house. Switch back to Bernard. And then go ahead and give the glowing key to Dave. With that ever important key, we can now head upstairs with Bernard. We are actually going to be heading towards the bedroom area again with Nurse Edna and Weird Ed's bedroom and we're going to be going back into that radio room. That was the one with the ladder that led us to the, uh, I guess the bedroom of the green tentacle who was very depressed. Head back up these stairs. And go ahead and enter this room. Once inside, you're going to want to go ahead and read the Wanted poster here. While you read it, at the end of it, it's going to give you a number to call. Once you have that number, you want to go ahead and use the radio tube and put it in the, uh, the tube slot of the radio. Sometimes you accidentally click the wrong thing. Once it's in the tube socket, you want to go ahead and use the radio. And you're going to have to enter that same code that we just saw on the wanted poster. Once it's in, you're now going to be giving a call to the Meteor Police. The Meteor Police have been searching for the Meteor, the evil purple Meteor, for a long time now. And they are very happy to hear your call.
Once they know the location of where the meteor is located, they tell us that they're going to be arriving in five minutes and to make sure that they can get into the lab. So now our goal is to go ahead and make sure, well, they can get into the lab. So now when we're back to Bernard, we're going to go ahead and switch to Dave. And now we're going to go ahead into that lab. Go ahead and move over towards this door over here. However, the opening, of course, we need to push that gargoyle, so we're going to go ahead and switch to Razor. Head up and go back inside the mansion with her for the first time. And then go ahead and push on the gargoyle statue. Once that's been done, switch to Dave and enter into this room. Of course, the lights have been turned off again.